They want to, just like you would, you'd look for anything, the, the client needs to do their due diligence. They need to know, they should be looking for um, how much experience they have. You know, if they, the, where, where were they trained? Is this something, sometimes unfortunately people will, they'll just pick stuff up and say, well, my friend told me this is a good thing to get into and he let me work for him. You know, needs to know where they're training. Uh, if they can, if they're able to release their clients' names, do they have corporate um, experience? If it's undercover work, do they have undercover work? So they need to know who they're dealing with, basically, and check them out fully, as you would anybody, really. The average cost for hiring a person protection specialist will depend on a number of things. You know, it'll depend on the amount, what work is to be done, uh, where the work is to be done, as we said before, um, and threat level makes a difference. You know, if there's absolutely zero threat, it'll be the lower end of the pay scale. If there is a higher threat, like someone like Salman Rushdie, who had a fatwa against him and you know, there was a bounty on his head for many, many years, he would be expected to pay a higher amount for EP agents. Corporations are downsizing, there are mergers and acquisitions going on, so they're letting people go, they're firing people, terminating people. And uh, you know, a lot of times people, it'll affect them very badly. You know, you don't know what's going on in their personal life and this just may be the straw that broke the camel's back. And they could, a lot of times they'll make a threat before they leave. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna kill people here, I'm gonna kill the CEO. You know, those are things that unfortunately you read in the newspapers and hear in the news every day. It really does go on. So uh, workplace violence, in the workplace obviously, is, is very, very, is very, very um, relevant and it's, it's, it's out there. Uh, private individuals, there can be a number of things. You know, we we get calls from uh, people who have to go to court, maybe having a, a civil case and it's going kind of sour. Maybe a domestic case where a person needs to get back into the house to remove property, so they want to make sure they're protected because they don't know what the ex may do, the significant other may do. So they'll call us in for that. Um, it's across the board. There are really a lot of times when people when people use us. If they're ready to hire somebody right away, obviously, hopefully they've done their, their, their homework and they've checked out and they know what they need. They need to not ex have false expectations, you know. Um, uh, make sure they're hiring a reputable company and uh, there are certain things that, you know, as I said, the, the company has to work within the confines of the law, so the person can't expect them just to be able to do everything that they may want. If they're, you know, make sure they get a, make sure they get a contract, make sure it's written out there and stipulated what's going to be done, who's going to do it, and make sure they know who's working for them.